That was number nine, guys. You know, I can't stop but laugh. Uh, <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time I see that. Ryan's 40 euro pop anytime. That's it, okay. Okay, guys, we're moving on now. We're, we're, we're getting closer to number one, I bet. You know, we're um, we've eight to go, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've eight to go. We're getting closer. And <clears throat> I know for myself, um, whenever I watch any of these kind of programs, the countdown or the best of or the top 50 or whatever, you know, you're always sitting there and no matter how bad or good or indifferent the program might be, you always have to sit down and watch. And there's something compelling about them, isn't it? You just need to know what number one is exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's nothing more annoying. Than it's ironic, actually. It is ironic. The how? <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic in the sense that you know you're sitting there <laughs> watching a show. You probably don't want to watch, but you know this human part of you wants it to stay. I totally agree. Want. Well done, Goldie. Well done. <laughs> okay. And what I think is very ironic, personally, <laughs> is that is that you're dying to know what what number one is, audience member. But if you work it out logistically, as the audience member who chooses the clips, you your first top 14 is essentially our top 14. As the audience member, you've chosen these. Exactly. Think about your number one clip and you can turn to another station. That's it, but it's, you always want to see it again. You, you just want to be confirmed. You know, and yeah. There's nothing more annoying than watching these shows and the host... Oh, <laughs> you can say that again. No, in, yeah. no when, you know, I if agree. You me, if you let me finish, Shirley, in the sense that the host is always prolonging that, that rise to number mm. one and delaying it. But I'm not going to do that, guys. Um, we're going to shoot straight. Can I just say one thing, just be before we, we of do Of course that. you can, yeah. Um, we're going to be picking number eight now, which is which is the Christmas special, 2006. Can you tell us, Goldie, what you said earlier on about season two? Season two, for me, you know, it was obviously the next season, after season one, which, <laughs> <laughs> which wasn't. <laughs> I know you that didn't figure that out. Okay, that was the hint, the penguin the whole time. Exactly. That's why it said season two. Yeah, <laughs> it was after the pilot, and it was it was the first show that we did that was aimed at you guys, the audience. It was, you know, that bit more, I won't say professional, but it was more structured. There was a lot of more mm -hmm. off the cuff madness in it, and you know, we were very self conscious. I think, especially at the start, folks. Exactly. Look back at the start. And there was a lot. I think that was, you know, we've come a long way since then, and we've, you know, technology and things like that have updated. But that that was what my uncle's hat was supposed to be, and it's probably it's it's probably one of the best seasons for me ever. I and I, I actually myself and Goldie talk wholeheartedly agree in this season two. Like and like that's Goldie, first. like that is the first. Yeah, that is probably the, well. No, I think we agree on the best moment, but um of of the of the top fourteen. Okay, we do. We do, we yeah, do. We do. You guys have um, great. Yeah, we're not going to tell you what it is. But I think Goldie has, has, has absolutely nailed on the head there, folks. Season 2 is that transformation between the, the crap, as Goldie would say about Season 1, and the professionalism of Season 3, but the deadness of Season 3. Season 2 gets us at that pinnacle when we're halfway between an awareness of the audience and yet just out to have a laugh. And I think that's why it works. There's no way we could ever recapture that, no matter how much they pay us. Exactly, no exactly. Way. And that's what will make us legends, legend in our own right. Um, you know, I think what we've done there, guys, we promised... I think your punctuation and grammar will get you legend <laughs> in your own right. I, I think we've promised not to delay you, but uh, I think we've just done that. But that's what you expect from us, conniving little devils. Straight in at number eight, it's the Colin Farrell interview. Enjoy. Um, okay, well, I guess the, the first question, the first proper question is about your movie career. Because despite the scandal, despite the smoke, yeah. No, go ahead. No, the smoke. Despite, you, yeah. despite the films, boards, boards, smoke, smoke, film, boards, 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 smoke, boards, smoking, film, boards, boards. I'm fucking. I decide who boards. Is, yeah. yeah. Oh, boards. Oh, boards. Yeah. boards. Then films, because you're boards. a very good actor. Boards, film, a good writer, a good like. Okay, Halle Berry, a good rattle. Halle Berry. You're a, a black girl. Actually, yeah. She was cool. We got straight to that question. Then. Sweet and juicy. Did um, you made a video That's not bad, isn't it? where women drink, booze, films, drugs, right? So go on. What's your next question, there? These are fucking brutal. Is that did all they have for me? Yeah. You want to talk to me? You want to ask me questions? I'm sick of being the interviewer. Did you know she was black? 
Great moments, great moments. Fantastic moments there. Uh, number seven is next. And we're getting very, very close now to, to number one and, and indeed the top three. Number seven, if I can talk about this, Charlie, is, is a very special moment for me and I'm delighted that, that again this was in the charts. And as you all guys know, Hickey's Mickey has played an important part in My Uncle Sat. And I think it's fantastic in this clip what you'll find out is at first I've caught, for the first time ever on camera, I've caught Charlie uh, taking out his Mickey on live TV. Every other time. And what season is that, Goldie? That is from season three, if I remember correctly. Okay. Spot on. Spot on there, I do do, do my You research. missed it even <coughs> on the best of. I have. Folks, it's already come out in the best of. And I have. It. And you've probably missed something as well during the best of, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, for me, you know. I think we might have a special guest. We might even know it's the best of, I think we should have a special we'll guest. We'll have a special tonight. guest later on to yeah, maybe. Unplanned off the cuff. Well, that's what this show is about. about Charlie, Charlie Naughton is all about off the cuff. And that's it. That's what I'm saying. If, if Charlie I can, Naughton and Bally Row. That's it. <laughs> If I can, Bally Rowan. If I can just continue yeah, on and, and move on with the show here. Yeah, I mean, the end. Anytime that you've seen Charlie's Mickey on TV, um, I, I haven't seen it until I've actually watched it back, back on the show. But this time, not only did I catch him, but his father walks in and catches it too. And it's hilarious him trying to cover it up. So guys... Well folks, if I can say one thing. Of course you can, It was Charlie. the first time my father saw my snake. And that's it. So in at number seven... It was... Sorry. On, Charlie. It was not the last. It was not the last, and that is very true. In at number seven, it's Charlie's Mickey. Mm -hmm. We have a fabulous prize. Someone, one of you lucky viewers, are going to be whisked away. Whisked <laughs> away, <laughs> like that. Like in a spoon. Like whisk. I'm going to do the whisk. Okay, whisked away to Hollywood. You're going to stay in a five-star hotel. You're going to get two thousand euros, two thousand spending dollars, money. Two thousand euros. Euros, okay. you're going to be euros would be better. So. Spending money, and you're going to go to the premiere oh. of this stars. Oh, I think I okay. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm not going to say it. I don't want to ruin it for now. Okay. Okay. So what is the question? The question is. Golly. Okay. You need to put that back. It's a kid show. Okay. <laughs> 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 he got out of it. We didn't want to interrupt the show. We didn't want to interrupt the show. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we had it. We had it. And that was number seven, guys. <laughs> Hickey's Mickey uh, revealed again. Yeah, it's sad, really. It is. Sad, it is. But, you know, that's the, the, the kind of... At the time, that's what we thought was funny. Exactly, exactly. And I think it's going to come out again, guys. You're not uh, as incognito as you used to think you were. Okay, guys, number six. What's in at number six there, Charlie? Well, you see, this for me and you and the audience members are among the funniest moments of the show. Why? Because they're so over the top stupid. We have Aaron Keating who is dying of AIDS, if I remember correctly, although it's they are diagnosed as the common cold. That's it. And he... <laughs> classic moment. <laughs> classic moment, classic night. Poor Aaron Ronan gets Folks, these, these are the running. moments that we will remember to, to... I mean, I recently had to attend my, my, my friend's father's removal and Goldie came with me. And we reflected on life and death and how short our experience on the earth is. And that when, when we look back over our lives, we think that there'll be very little that we remember um, at the end. And what you remember are, are just thumbtacks. Exactly like thumbtacks. Special on moments. And I think this for us both is a special moment. Why? We don't even know. I mean, this is not funny. This yeah. is not funny, though. You know, it, it's also, you know that's, that's a very deep sentimental thing you've just said there. And I think... You know, There's nothing sentimental about it, Dolby. Okay. We'll go straight to number yeah, six, so... Do, Okay, it's the wrong thing. What sentimental <laughs> Charlie, stop trying to catch me out there. Okay, number six. I find a freaking dictionary, folks. Freaking dictionary for the birth. <laughs> number six is the Ronan Keaton handshake, where Charlie here. Give us a bit of Ronan Keaton voice. Come on. Do it in the Ronan Keaton voice. I'm sure you are. This is a bit about Ronan Keaton. 
and uh, yeah, Ronald Keaton, thanks very much to Mike, God bless. Uh, Ronald Keaton uh, was doing 